Well, Asher Smith certainly well into a running. Luke and Kemper left quite a long way behind, who is beginning to come through now fast. So Asher Smith it is holding on to the line. Luke and Kemper finishing fast, and then there's a big gap uh, back to rank. It was Niola of France who took third place. And 10.93 for Asher Smith. Well, a British record earlier this year was 10.92. She's in top shape, no question about that. Negligible wind at 0.2 meters per second. I think Luke and Kemper also, yes, 10.98, also under 11 seconds. Well, that's really made a statement by Dina Asher Smith. We know she's been in terrific form, as Peter was saying, 10.92 earlier this year, a British record. And really, she had a great start and never relinquished that lead. She poured it on over the second half of the race. Gina Lukenkemper did fantastically well to chase her down, but couldn't quite get onto an equal footing. But both women under 10 seconds. This is already potting up to be a great women's 100 meter final later on this evening. And we've still got two semi-finals to go. From the inside, from lane one, Zahi, Lansako, Skippers, Kambunji, Asha Smith, Luke and Kemper, Samuel, and Oblisa Zangui. Well, Asher Smith out very quickly, so too can Bungie, but Asher Smith now really starting to get into a running, tearing away from the rest of the field. It's Asher Smith all the way through to the line over the final 20 metres, coming through very strongly for second. Gina Lukenkamper gets Germany a medal, but it's Dina Asher Smith. And just look at that time, it's a new British record, unofficially 10.85, equaling the world lead of Mary Jose Talua of Ivory Coast. It's confirmed, 10.85. Lucan Kemper gets the silver medal, 10.98. Daphne Shippers, gold two years ago, has to settle for bronze, but it's a season's best of 10.99 for the Dutch woman. And Majinga Kambunji just edged out, takes fourth in 11.05. What a phenomenal race from Dina Asher-Smith. Zero wind. So it could be even quicker with a little wind behind, but it was a wonderful performance. As she showed in the semi-final, she was out, as we'll see again, no doubt, with the replay. Let's look how quickly she was out there. And uh, the other athletes had to struggle to work hard to come through. Again, an inspired run by the German Lukenkamper. Look, she must be a metre and a half down. Strippers, similarly, really making her power felt, passing Kambunji now, with the flying Asher Smith, rewarded with that brilliant British record. Well, we've been looking for her to set records for some years now. She was a brilliant junior. She's now fully committed on the senior circuit, having finished her university exams, and that was a wonderful performance. And of course, she'll be looking for another, the 200 later, and she has the great pleasure of being congratulated. Smith, Williams, Kotvila, Mula, Halpier. Away they go, and Asher Smith in lane four is already eating up the stagger on Bianca Williams, her compatriot outside her. It's coming for straight. It's a good run by Laura Mula of Germany, also, but it's Asher Smith who's uh, pounding away from the track, and uh, Yvette Lalio. Polio running really well, and Bianca Williams in third, just ahead of Muller. Well, 22-34, and it looked pretty easy for Dina Asher-Smith, and perhaps we can expect something special in the final. But Yvette uh, Lalova Collio winding back the years to some extent to finish there in second place. Pretty well strung out, those first four. There we can see Dina Asher-Smith Look how much ground she made up there around the bend. And we were saying before the 100 meter finals that yes, she's actually a much better 200 meter runner. But when she ran that 10.85 in the 100 meter final, she gave a little idea of what we can expect in the 200 meters. See, Dina Asher-Smith going for a double. Daphne Skippers, the double world champion.
Away they go, and Asher Smith already eating up the sat stagger on Samuel outside. A well clear, and Skipper's long way back. She finishes well, of course, but what a brilliant run this is by Asher Smith. And uh, Samuel just outside her. Skipper's coming through now, but it's dinner, Asher Smith, all the way down the home straight. Skipper's long legs can't catch Asher Smith. Asher Smith wins it. Skipper's in second place. Samuel takes the bronze, and look at that time! She smashed the British record in the 100 metres with 10.85, and the time here, smashing the best record she set now, 21.89 here, and uh, well, she really is now in top world class, and that takes her to seventh on the European all-time list. Skipper's a season's best behind her, then Samuel equaling her personal best, then Kambunji with a season's best. It was a great race. It's not warm enough for really top sprinting, one might think, but Asha Smith is on fire. What an absolutely terrific run from Asha Smith. This, she's becoming the female star of these championships without a doubt. Well, Asha Philip away very quickly, already trying to gain a little bit on Daphne Skipper, who in turn is up on the Swiss team. Good handovers from Great Britain and the Netherlands. Germany also running well at this moment. And it's Van Hunnesten handing over to Jamily Samuel, but the Germans are doing extremely well. Tatiana Pinto has the baton in her hand now. She's going to hand over to Rebecca Haase. Well, Dina Asher-Smith taking over in fourth, has a bit to do, but she's really rocketing down the home straight. Dina Asher-Smith is on her way to a third gold medal, Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the Netherlands and Germany. That's gold, silver and bronze. What a championship for Dina Asher-Smith. Well, Naomi Sedney ran a fantastic last leg just to hold off the Germans, but there was no stopping Dina Asher-Smith. Coming from fourth at the final change, but she is in such outstanding form, joined by the rest of her team to take the plaudits. That's Imani Lansako running down the back straight. Rebecca Haase, a little bit of disappointment on her face, but the Germans will be on the podium in the bronze medal position. But Great Britain, Northern Ireland regain the title that they last had in 2014. What a finish there from Dina Asher-Smith. It was almost as if she changed gears and just stormed past everyone with about 50 metres to go. And it just shows what a dominant character in global sprinting she is now. Well, a world lead. We did indeed see a sub 42 second time. Great Britain 41.88. Netherlands 42.15. This is the second changeover for the Dutch. Well, I don't think anything would have stopped Dina Asher-Smith, but that changeover didn't help, and here's the final changeover. Asher-Smith takes over behind the Dutch, the Germans and the Swiss, but just flies past them all. And just look at how quickly she makes up ground there and puts daylight between her and the rest of the runners. Three gold medals for Asher Smith, each one of them in a world leading performance. And the margin she went away from the final set of runners was just staggering.